When we last left off, we were looking at um, doing the ordination lab in our studio. In the ordination lab, we were simply copying and pasting, and we made it as far as the species accumulation curve. We're going to pick up there and run the rest of our ordination. Importantly, we have the package vegan running, and we've already renamed two variables, um, our community data matrix and our environmental data matrix. Those are loaded in the top of our studio here, and then you can see them renamed down here in the code. The next package that we install in order to run our ordination is called EcoDist. You can just copy and paste uh, the text there to install packages. Again, I've already installed this package, so it's not gonna, I'm not going to install it again. Uh, but you should run that. Make sure that the package is not just installed, but it's loaded. You use the library command. We talked about the difference between different kinds of distance, Euclidean distance versus Bray Curtis distance. In this case, we're going to use Bray Curtis distance to calculate distances between plots in terms of all species involved in our ordination. I'm going to type three commands here that are all related to creating a stress plot. I got this error here, and I've seen this error a couple times. Um, sometimes when you're pasting from a Word document, the quotations won't be recognized, and you might have to go back through and correct them. You see our stress plot is produced here. This is showing the number of axes and the stress associated with an ordination at a given number of axes. There's only one iteration for generating this stress, so be cautious with this, but it's showing a big dive in stress as we go from one to two axes. And so in this case, that's justifying going with a two axis solution because we've really reduced our stress from what we get with a, with a one axis solution. Next, I'm gonna set a random number to start my ordination on. Remember, it's a random iteration procedure, but if we use the same random start number, then we'll tend to get the same results. Okay, bleep, 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 bleep. It just ran our ordination. So all of these um, runs represent different iterations of trying to find a low stress solution. It's gonna try to choose the lowest stress uh, solution to our ordination. And remember that that low stress is happening because um, there's uh, a small amount of information lost. And so we, we like that. Um, so found a best solution here. If you're curious about the nature of what is that ordination, um, what does it look like? You just defined the ordination in your text here. It's called m.mds. And so if you wanna know details about that ordination, including its stress, just type it in and then it'll tell you the stress for that final ordination. In this case, uh, the stress was actually relatively high. I like the stress to be lower than 0.2. And in this case, it actually came out relatively high. But we'll go with it. After we've done that, we can do a stress plot. Stress plot will show us the shape of our data. So here we have observed dissimilarity between groups. Every possible uh, group comparison is represented here as a circle, and there's an ordination distance between every two points in an ordination, and then there's the actual uh, mathematical distance between those two points. And so that's what we're getting here. We're getting a comparison of those two bits. Next, the only thing left to do is to actually see our ordination. So now I'm gonna plot our ordination. And after I plot our ordination, I'll stop. The next video will cover how to manipulate that organization, that ordination uh, to make it look uh, a little prettier than the first or ordination that we get. Here we go.
Whoa, there it is. Okay, so here's our first ordination. Let's take a bigger look at this. Um, so in this case, each of these numbers represents a different plot that was ordinated and NMDS-1 and NMDS-2 are the result of the combined ordination of 50 variables. I believe we had 50 species in this ordination. So 50 species are contributing to the location of each one of those plots um, on two axes. Okay, that's it. Once you've gotten this far, you've run the ordination. Uh, the rest is just decorating the cake. So the foundation is all there.